proceed on now with a comparison between transanal laparoscopic assisted and pure pull through for Hirschsprung's disease in children with swollen Li. Good morning, everyone. I'm Soli Li from Hebei Medical University in China. Uh, thanks for giving me an opportunity to present uh, uh, our study. Uh, nothing to disclose. Uh, my topic is a comparison between transanal laparoscopic assisted and a pure pull through for his pronged disease in children. <coughs> uh, primary transanal indirect pull through first reported by Delta in 1998 as an exclusive transanal <coughs> approach. Uh, TAPT has been become the main method for common HD due to its convenience, minimally invasion, and uh, aesthetics. Uh, laparoscopic assisted survival procedure for HD was first described by Johnson in 1995. Conventional laparoscopy for HD contributes to identifying the pathologic transitional <coughs> zone with a preliminary biopsy and mobilizing the mesenteric vessels. Uh, the aim, uh, to compare the operative outcomes between transanal laparoscopic assisted and uh, pure pull-through procedure for the common HD. Uh, you can see the rectal mucosa uh, is exposed with low star for opening the anus, and the transanal submucosa dissection is done like a torus procedure. Uh, the pool rectum um, is closed with ligation, avoiding fecal leakage, and the center for biopsy. Uh, transanal multi channel single port is placed, and the instruments are inserted. And the direct transanal laparoscopic observation, the procedure of exploration, and the uh, Column mobilization are much the same as classic laparoscopic pull through. Then the mobilized sigmoid is pulled and resected outside the anus. The anastomosis to the rectal mucosa is completed with absorber suture. Uh, the results uh, 50 children uh, underwent TAPT in this study. Uh, which were divided into lab tapped and uh, pure tapped. <laughs> lab tapped was uh, uh, completed in 26 uh, cases, uh, including one case carried out uh, pure tapped was forced to convert due to lung segment HD. Uh, compared to pure tapped, uh, necessitating uh, repeated dissection and the ligation of the marginal vessel and uh, even two with the biopsy report, uh, the, oper <coughs> the operative time was shortened and the estimated bleeding was decreased because of using hemlock clips and uh, ultrasonal scalpel <coughs> in lab type. Uh, you can see the table, only one discussions of anastomosis and another enterocolitis in lab type, but uh, seven children have post-operative complications in pure tapt, including three dehiscence, uh, two enterocolitis, uh, one incontinence, and uh, one developed ND required a redo. Mm, conclusion, uh, transanal lab tapt, uh, uh, transanal lab assisted pull-through could uh, thoroughly mobilize the left colon and uh, remain its marginal <coughs> vessel to ensure a free uh, colorectal anastomosis without excessive retreating anus. It is characteristic of less bleeding, uh, short operative time, uh, fewer perioperative complications, and fast recovery because its technique might identify the transitional zone or intraoperative biopsy um, prior to mobilization of the colon. Um, thank you. We have time for one question. Thank you very much.
which it's a very nice series. And uh, my question is regarding uh, the biopsy, taking of specimen, is it done laparoscopically or do you pull out uh, the, the intestine to take off the specimen, which is your technique, yeah. inside or outside? Uh, in the beginning, uh, we uh, carry out the third uh, procedure, uh, mobilizing uh, rectum, and uh, 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 we use the, uh, the working uh, instrument uh, through uh, uh, the uh, rectum muscle, uh, uh, muscle clips uh, in, into pelvic, uh, through pelvic into uh, abdominal cavity. Uh, uh, we uh, get some several neural for uh, biopsy uh, prior to to mobilizing the colon. Yeah. Thank you.